Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with the first episode of 33303 or less, where I go over three apps that cost under $3 in three minutes. To start, we have pocket planes. In the game, you run a fleet of planes through various airports around the world. The first thing that jumped out at me is the style. The graphics are all pixel based, and it's easy to work out what you're supposed to do. It even goes as far as the sounds, which are simple, yet clearly let you know what is going on without needing to look. The objective is to become the ruler of the skies by flying your planes around the world and purchasing and upgrading your planes and airports. As a free to play game, you can purchase more in game bucks to make it faster to progress. But just like Jetpack Joyride, spending money is entirely optional and you'll be able to fully enjoy the game for free. All flights take a few minutes to get to their destinations, so you'll be able to manage other things while waiting or just keep an eye on your push notifications to see when they land. While the game is a bit slow at first, it picks up after a bit and is really quite fun. For free in the App Store, it's definitely worth a download. Next, we have Project 83113, also known as Project Bell. I picked this one up and suddenly an hour of my life disappeared before I could set it down. There are a lot of great things about this, not the least of which are the awesome cell shaded graphics. Bell is a platformer with a heavy emphasis on combat, which combined with a super fast pace makes an awesome combo. The story is that Project Bell was created to take back the world from the machines, and it's told briefly between worlds with comic-like cutscenes. You can swipe to boost forward, up or down, as well as control where Bell goes. For the most part, you have to focus on getting through the level and avoiding enemies and hazards while Bell automatically shoots. If it's getting tough, you can use a powerful attack to clear everything out at the temporary cost of your health, which makes it a bit strategic. If you kill enemies, you get that health back, but if you miss, then you can quickly die. Project Bell is one of the most fun games I've played in quite a while, and I highly recommend giving it a shot for 99 cents. Lastly, but definitely not least, we have Ballistic SE. There are lots of great twin stick shooters in the App Store, but Ballistic is my favorite for a few reasons. There are two modes, Waves and Challenges. Waves is a longer game that throws wave after wave of enemies at you, and as you progress, you unlock upgrades such as shooting faster and making your shots attract to the other orbs. Challenges have you try and survive for 2 minutes with 10 upgrades. As you can see, the graphics are nothing short of fantastic, and better yet, the entire game is as responsive as it gets. No matter how much stuff is on screen, the game never seems to miss a beat. Best of all, the controls are top notch, which is usually my biggest problem with twin stick shooters on touchscreens. If you enjoy a quick run through a twin stick shooter, I highly recommend Ballistic SE. As of recording this video, the app is free, however even for its normal $1.99 price, it's worth picking up. That's it for this episode of 33303 or less. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're interested in catching more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.